this will be the first video this week and we'll pick up from last week we will start off about to soften this chine right here drive fit the fiberglass pull the fillets get it all done uh we'll probably time lapse through some of that just in case people want to see it but uh, i'll try and explain what i mean by softening that i think i showed it before but try and show it again uh we well, appreciate you watching uh you know love the comments love interacting with the people the questions uh whatever you know people sharing other projects they do and really enjoy that so uh Stay tuned and uh, let me know if you see anything you got questions about or that I could do better or a shortcut or a tip or a tool or whatever. Uh, be happy to hear about all that. So just hang with us here. Let's take a look back and look at this project from the start. This is a quick little time lapse of what's been done up to this point and how we constructed the pieces, we traced them, we cut them out, we put the boat together here, we started stitching it together with zip ties. Just trying to take a look back and just see what's happened along this journey, and it's been a journey. I've never built a boat before, this is the first one I've ever built, so uh, this is an interesting little project and it's uh, get pretty daunting at times, but uh, it's coming along fine, and we're going to finish it up and it's going to be strong, but just Take a look here at what we've done in the past. Doing it. I'm going to take this belt sander, it's got about 60 grit belt on it. Um, not trying to mess around here, just trying to take that, that shine where it meets that hull side. It comes in at a pretty steep angle, so we're just trying to soften that up so whenever you come in and pull that fillet, that it'll make that turn much easier. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and make one piece that starts here goes down, comes up here, I'm going to split it for this bulkhead, let it lay on each side however it lays, and then I'm going to bring it all the way to the width of here, let it come all the way up, turn this fillet once it's there, and then come up here about two inches, two or three inches, okay? So i got to know this distance here, across, up, over, or up, split to here, come back up, over to here, all right, and I want all of it. I want to do the same thing here. So this piece will all it'll all be one piece. So all this will be one one run. It goes down through there, covers this, and then if I have to, I'll come back and use scrap pieces to make the tabs on the on the ends here. To, make, to use the scrap pieces here, here. If I need to tab it in here, I will. Uh, I should be able to because this is going to be long. I should be able to turn this, uh, make this work. And should be able to make this front side work but I'm gonna take this um, from here and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do this piece here I'm probably gonna pull uh, take this come over here wrap back up here and then just make this what I'm gonna try to do is have two or three inches on each bulkhead maybe coming up here because this floor is not going to come all the way to here so again, we talked about how this floor is going to stop I mean as you can see it stops right level with the top of this so probably come this up I mean this it needs to be nice but it doesn't have to be it's not going to be exposed in the interior of the boat like in the in the cockpit so damn hand off of me uh, so well go cut a piece of fiberglass so it looks like as I measure this I'm going to need to be 
11. And I'm just doing roughly, I'll cut it a little bit big. 11, 14. Um, once again, I'm going to just split around there. So we're probably going to cut it about. pieces that I have, scraps that I have, I'll go through that before I cut any new stuff. But I'm going to go cut this 45 by 45 um, and bring it back out. Um, I'll probably take and show you my setup inside where I've got all my cloth on. So let me go do that now. All right, so this is my little rack with well, my resin set up, and this is inside the shop here. Uh, it's you know it's a wreck because I got boat stuff laying everywhere but what I do is I take this bottom roll and I roll it into that little void and bring it up over the top all right and then I just take my uh, I have a 48 inch uh, measuring stick there and I take it and so I need 45 so I'm gonna just come up 45 this thing is 50 inches wide so I'm gonna come up 45 inches on this side, 45 on that side, I'll make a mark, cut it, then I'll take it outside and I'll trim that extra, say five inches off. But that's what my uh, fiberglass rack looks like. It's been working pretty good. I keep it in here so it's not su suspect all the dust. It makes me walk around a little bit more, but it, it uh, I said it keeps it protected and I don't have to worry about the weather or moisture, humidity, it should be a lot better in here. Oh. Here's the piece, 45 by 45. Now all the plans call for the chop to go down. This is probably as inefficient as I could do this. But we're gonna see how it works out. So I'm gonna cut one, see how it works, and then we'll go from there. Um, Cannot imagine trying to do this old boat with these sides on. I'm gonna have to get a stool or a bucket or something just to be able to do this, or I'm gonna have to get up in there. Ugh. So we have to turn this. up on my nose, I know it. I 
measuring and cut. this bottom where this comes up in here and seals I'll overlap it I'll just overlap it back this way I think it's gonna be just too much to do with one piece I'll just overlap everything and then do this as a compartment and then overlap and then just trying to overlap all of my seams and double it up it's just gonna be too much so as you can see I started off trying to make all of this in one piece and uh it's just it just i just couldn't make it work with those angles and you know that that hull is so steep um you know and then you got you got so many angles and it's not square it wouldn't work out square and whatnot so what i basically did is i decided to split it in half and uh so what i'm doing now is i just take and i cut the size out for that one um for that for that forward compartment there and then i come back and got my base measurement Come back and I'll do the stern here. Uh, I mean, the one more towards the stern, and I'll figure out the seam and all. So it was just one of those I wanted to show that you know, sometimes there's a lot of just thinking and trying and you know, laying in bed having a good plan, and it you know it just doesn't work. So I had to go back to the drawing board there and figure it out. So that's what we did. Yeah, and I, I try and show this whole process. I mean, not not everything's good in time lapse, but you know it does help speed things up. So here here is on the starboard side. I'm sorry, on the port side. Um, all I did was take the the patterns that I made for the starboard side and went and cut a, cut another piece of fiberglass, and then I just laid them on top of there to cut mirror images of them, so that I could use those to get started on the uh, on the port side. So have a little camera trouble so not everything is show you know shows up uh, for what we did here but you know basically same thing just cut them out cut them out too big and then put them in there and mark them label them uh, orient them you know that's that's a big thing is putting those black marks in the seams and where your cuts are and you know when you when it's all wet you go to put it in there you know exactly where to put it so that's another thing that I do that helps me out a lot So after getting all the fiberglass kind of laid in there and get it cut out where it goes, now it's time to get back to just, you know, here it is, I'm making some thickened epoxy, you know, start off with about 25, 26 ounces of mixed epoxy, two to one uh, epoxy, then come back with twice as much cabasil. And, you know, y'all seen me do this a few times. If you haven't, go back, there's some, you know, plenty of videos before here that show me laying fillets and using a spatula and then my, all my little tools, um, my little mixer there. And that's, you know, these compartments, because of the angles, those uh, down in the bottom, it really took a lot of uh, thickened epoxy. Um, but, you know, just plugging away, and you know, hate hate to use everything in time lapse, but I mean, this, this took a long time. And here you can see me trying to reach down into that bottom. It was just a long way. And I can't imagine having to try and do all of these fiberglass sections like this, I, I would need a chiropractor for sure. Well, got it done today. This is an example right here, a uh, little thickened epoxy. And that's still a little tacky, but I'll take, probably just let that dry, scrape it off. But came in here today and we see the video uh, pulling these fillets. Man, this was a beast. Um, expected this to take about an hour and it wound up taking about four. Uh, is it over three batches, uh, you know, three, 
probably 32 ounces of epoxy, thickened epoxy. Pulled all these fillets, as you can see now. Got all the fillets, got everything ready. Um, so tomorrow, on this side and on that side, got everything ready. Come in here and pull this fiberglass. I'm only gonna pull it probably two two inches, two three inches above this this uh, chine line here. So that's what we're doing. Got a rare rare vision of the night on the lights here. This is what she looks like. And uh, got all my fiberglass cut. Just got it sitting in the boat there, and weather's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the tent open tonight and come back in here and. Got some stuff in the morning to do with the wifey. And then we're going to come back in here and try and tackle this. I'm not quite sure. You saw me fighting it. Uh, I'll try to talk through that. If not, um, I'm sure I'll uh, speak over the video. But like I tried to make this all one piece. But probably going to do just this section and let it come all the way up to chine and over and then do this little section and then if I need to put some tabs on the ends and here and there the fronts or whatever then I'll just do that with scrap pieces but that's all we're looking at and then uh, once again first night vision here got, got good lights in the tent and all so now the weather's nice we'll be able to work on it out here at night well you go this afternoon you'll see the video I probably just saw it that uh where i pulled all these fillets and measured all the fiberglass got everything ready to pull got everything ready to lay only one problem is that i got busy uh with work and stuff and so i didn't get it laid in time so now what i'm about to do is i'm gonna come back in here with my little file sander right over here and i'm gonna uh Come back in here and sand all these fillets and then i'm gonna depending on how long that takes me sand sand all these fillets yeah and then uh i may start laying out uh you can see i got my fiberglass and all back there i may start go ahead and uh try and pull all this fiberglass because these holes here these are man it's it's a long ways to reach down in there so i'm gonna try and go ahead and get those get them done where i can get them behind me and get this whole compartment done at least all the all of the uh compartments in here and then uh as soon as i get that done we'll move up here to this bow section so probably gonna be a little uh watch me sand here for a little while probably run through it pretty fast but uh, that's what we're gonna do right now without a doubt this is less than ideal condition but you know as we just talked about i didn't get back didn't get to it in time to uh let, actually lay the fiberglass and do all that for the uh, for all these fillets and all cured so now i gotta back up um, get my little file sander come back in here and sand down all of that thickened epoxy so that i can get ready to come back right behind it and uh maybe lay some of this fiberglass in but it, you know anytime that stuff cures you gotta you gotta rough it up rough the surface up so that new epoxy can get down in there and, and really anchor or bond to it um, but it does take some time and this is not the, not the best way to do it and not the fastest but sometimes you got to back up and just make sure it's right all right so after i got everything sanded down i got the vacuum out cleaned up all the dust and whatnot so here it is now I've just taking my glass and i've estimated how much epoxy i'm going to need and i'll speak to that a little bit later um uh, because you know like i know kyle may have had an issue with I'm not saying it was, that this would solve it but this is just how I try and avoid it I'm scared of that so this is what I do um, but all I'm doing basically is just taking epoxy right here and just pre-coating all the wood um, letting it sit for a while and then coming back and coating it again um, so that the uh, seals the wood and gives that fiberglass plenty of places to stick and right here I have this little table and I wanted to be able to show geographically you know so now I got the table with some plywood on it some bisqueen and I just take and, and pre-wet out all that fiberglass before I actually bring it into the boat it's already saturated so with the, the epoxy on the wood and then you know all of the the uh, fiberglass already saturated hopefully it's basically just putting it in there rolling it out and uh, helping it helping it just stick together and uh, getting all the air bubbles and all that
Yeah, and once again, the time lapse here to help, uh, you know, I'm kind of like running this long because I'm sure you get the idea, but I wanted to give just an idea. You know, it takes it takes a good while. You know, I would say just these two little compartments probably took me an hour and a half um, just from the time I started fiberglassing. You know, and it's just that little, you know, that's actually a foam roller I went back to. Uh, I knew it was only going to be working for a little while. and that, They'll last that long. I want to try it again, and it, I'm, I'm still on the fence on which one I like. But uh, there's a little patch that I put in that just to help join that, you know, where that fiberglass all come together. And, and I'm trying to show um, here again how I'm wetting out the fiberglass before before it goes into this rear section. And I just once again I like to do that, estimate how much I, I need, and then I, once it once I bring it over here, it's wet. And I basically just have to lay it in place, and then. I roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it nice, you know, with, with not so much pressure as you can see. I mean, you can almost see it. It's just you just keep rolling it and helping to helping that fiberglass to just kind of lay in there, lay flat, and help it to, to really seal up with that epoxy that you have already on the wood. So, you know, once again, I'm going to show it here where I'm not doing anything uh, for the most part uh, after I put this little you know, scab piece on is I'm just rolling it out, going over, and I probably go over everything three or four or five times just to make sure that I'm bonding it. And I look at it just like this. Here we go with a little thin roller. Um, and once again, I like to let this stuff sit there for a while, maybe 20, 30 minutes uh, until it kind of starts kicking, I think, and run over it with that thin. Alrighty, this is all what we got done yesterday. We got all of this stuff in here is all good and glassed in. It looks pretty good. You see a little bit right here where I know I had a little too much, a little too much. You can see it looks wet, uh, like this little pocket of epoxy. It's still a little soft, but. Uh, must be where all this just kind of drained down in there and all of this was trying to get all that straight so it'll be all right got all this done i'm about to take tackle here uh c2 and c5 and be the same thing so that'll be everything for this compartment and once we get done with that keep talking about it we're going to jump on this one we got to wait for some more cabasol to be able to put thickened epoxy and all in here but that should be here in the next couple of days so with work and all, that's what that's the next the next part. That's what we're gonna be doing. All right. So this is where I was talking about estimating. What I like to do is I like to take the glass and I mark it off or mentally do it in 12 by 12 sections. So basically that's a square foot. So the estimate I've been using for this 1808 biaxial is about three ounces per square foot. So here I've got just about six square feet so three three ounces per square foot that's 18 ounces plus another six ounces is just the number that i found that works pretty good to be able to help pre-coat the wood with uh, epoxy and all so that's kind of what you'll see me doing here is getting i've already figured out how much i need so now i'm going to just take take and pre-coat um all of the wood you know where i'm about to lay this epoxy um and once again i like to put a layer on it i like to let it sit for a good while if i can you know 20 30 minutes and then uh, i'll come back and put another layer on it especially on the ends you know everything so it seals up you know it's nice and sealed no matter what it, it'll, that epoxy will seal it even though these will always be watertight compartments i know i, I don't want to start the argument but this is how the design is done this is how i'm going to do it so that's what I'm doing here, and then I come back and, and uh, once again with that bisqueen on there, um, I pour the epoxy on it, and then I just roll it around. And, you, know, you can see here that by the time I pick it up, it's it is saturated and almost to the point of dripping. I don't quite get it that wet, but that's uh, I've seen that happen uh, in some some videos. But I also want to talk about now, you know, something I've, I've talked about in the past is actually doing a giveaway. Um, if, if this channel keeps growing, you know, if we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm offering to purchase and ship to whomever, anywhere in the world, honestly, um, 
of, of uh, a current subscriber or something like that, uh, any of the Salt Boat Works plans, just the paper plans, no kits, no pre-cut, none of that, but just to give away out of my own pocket, just in appreciation for the people that have followed and the, you know, just the conversations that I've been able to have and enjoying it and sharing this, and also to help somebody who may want to do this but may not have the means, but that's my uh, my next consideration is to uh, want want to keep that in the conversation and let you know people know I like talking about it uh, so that I you know maybe get some people that are really engaged and not people that are cruising by but you know I enjoy all of all the, the 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 viewing but really looking to help somebody who's truly interested in this the way that I was I would watch videos and listen to them in the descriptions and all and so that's what we're trying to imitate but no matter what thanks for watching do subscribe and like it. Check out my other videos. I get to do some cool stuff and we'll keep plugging away. So, till next week.